joking. Yes, again, Mum took us too close to Dad. Crocs. Dad. 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 Dad's fault. Definitely. Wolverine. Dad's fault. Definitely. <laughs> Daddy Wolverine did it. Daddy Wolverine did it. <laughs> too close. <laughs> I'm Nikki and this is my gorgeous family Chris, Bo, Bear and our salty puppy Buddy We've been sailing around the world for three years now on Pickle a catamaran we bought, renovated and learned to sail on after I had a life changing epiphany when I was in ICU with meningitis Subscribe, welcome aboard and enjoy the ride Hugging the old pooch AG1 is our big sponsor of the day, which definitely helps with our busy sailing lifestyle. So I have AG1 every morning to start my day. I've been having this for a couple of months now and I, I really feel the benefits. As a vegan, I used to take a multivitamin and all I do is take this every morning. It supports my immunity, my gut health, my brain health. It gives me more energy. I just feel pretty great on it. It tastes pretty good. It covers all my nutritional needs. So it doesn't really matter if I get a bad diet or we don't eat very well while we're sailing or whatever we're doing. This really covers everything. It's got prebiotics, probiotics, 75 million vitamins. No, not really million, but there's a lot of vitamins and minerals in there. It is really everything you need. So it covers everything stops you worrying about it you also get travel packs with it so if we're traveling and we're not on the boat i just take one of these stick it in drink it smash in if you get if you order these today you can follow the link below in my description you get this d3 and k2 a year supply free and five travel packs give it a go guys you might just end up feeling as amazing as me <laughs> So we're going to be you swinging. We're going to take you outside in a minute, but the wind's really loud, so I'm just going to talk inside. Um, because the wind's so close behind us and we're driving, it's the Genoa is just spinning out. Anyway, we're going to get the spinnaker pole up and we're going to put the Genoa on the spinnaker pole. So let's take a seat. I'm sorry if I'm a bit shaky because the boat's moving. We're just going to sit down here. So what? And yeah. This is our first time doing it, so we're just doing a bit of a hit and miss stroke here. Yeah, we've got some waves, look. Oh, you can actually see them for once on the camera. Mm -hmm. There's just Finch Lice to be able to be over there. He's got a rope on it to tie on that, and he's going to take it over to this side. So we're goose swinging, so it's going to go that way. It's going to go this way, and this sail's going out there. There we go. We're going to turn on 0.5. And there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, I go. Who swinging? I've only waited about three years for him to let me go to the Yeah, man. So I've all worked out, don't you, about how terrible it's going to be and that it's too hard and we can't do it. And look how easy it was. Oh, okay, so basically what you do is you go dead downwind, you pull out your main genoa, and you put your mainsail out the opposite side, so you've got two wings going down like that. It's like that. a bird. And on a prow, it's stopped by these side stays. The side stays stop our main sail being able to go out. It should go out right down to here. Yeah, but they can't. But anyway, it's still effective, it's just not as effective. It's still brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. You okay, buddy? Really?
so. So it was going up to 3.9, so 3.7. And there's 7.5 knots of wind. How good is that? And we haven't even got the light wind turned up. Literally incredible. Wow. <laughs> wing on wing, baby. Wing on wing. That's good, anybody. The plan of action is we're going to go downwind, wing on wing, until we get to this headland here. I will show you. See, we're getting coming in quite close now. And the wind has just changed slightly, so we really need to go more that way. But we're trying to stay out the, as far as we can this way so we can get going as long as possible. And then we will take the pole down and jibe that way. That way, <laughs> across that way, and go down and a great big long jibe on that, that way, hopefully, which will allow us to then either pole out or jibe back up that way to get into, what's it called, Dubrovnik? Dubrovnik, yeah. But if the, if the winds get lighter and drop, then instead of just jibing down that way, we'll get a light wind sail up and we'll use a light wind sail to jibe down that way. Light wind sail, yeah. At least we've got a, at least we had a go at wing on wing. That was what we wanted. To, that's what I wanted to do. I was desperate to have a go at wing on wing. You need to be able to do this across the Atlantic, aren't you? So we've done it now. No, we're doing it now. Oh God. I like pros, man. No, 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 no. We're not like pros. But anyway, we've done it. I'm not sure it's exactly set up as it should be, but you know, first try and all that. We're moving. Four knots. Four knots in eight knots of wind. Can't complain of that, can you? Yeah, 50% speed of wind. Yeah, it's fantastic. We're going to do four knots in 7.3 knots of wind now, so yeah. Happy with that. Light wind sound next, I think. And there's our light wind sound, which is getting all ruined because it's always wet. And uh, the blue's gone on the white, but anyway, at least it's getting a chance to dry out now. It's not quite enough wind. Five knots of wind. Five knots of wind, so we've only got two and a half. Uh, getting about two and a half knots for the light wind sound because it does not have wind. But we'll go along like this for a little bit, save on diesel, and we'll set out. I think it would probably be better if our main sail was down, actually. Apart from it looks really cool, it's a cool sound. It's just the silence. I don't know if you're going to get that on here because you always pick up the wind. Like the match friend always picks up just wind and you get loads and loads of wind. But honestly, when you're here on deck, you get like the fluff of the sound and um, it's just quiet. It's, it's really lovely. It's really, really relaxing. It's really nice. Kids playing, <laughs> dogs playing with, with bear. What a lovely chilled out Sunday, huh? Lovely. It's a shame we can't go a little bit more of that angle because we go faster. The, the sound's just laughing a little bit. You can hear it going. But we want to try and go down there. So we're as tight to the window as we can be, really. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's really cool. Really cool. I love it. It's good, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, Buddy's on his lead, so he's safe. He wants to come here with us, doesn't he? We'll come to you, Buddy. Don't worry, we'll come back now. Do you like this light wind sound, Bear? Yeah. What do you like about it? The fact that the sound is um, when there's not much wind. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. I do hat. Who got you that? Mark. Wow, that's a cool, cool LA Dodgers cap. Yeah. All the way from America. Woo! Yeah. 
<laughs> spoiled. Totally spoiled. From there, which I should have videoed and I'm an idiot, is the river. When there's a bridge and you go under it and you go along into the river and there's a shelter anchorage if you can't anchor anywhere else. Da, da, da. But we are going out of here. We're going to squeeze for this little gap and sail down the coast and hopefully anchor outside Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik. I can never remember to pronounce that name. Honestly, I'm useless. I have read several different reviews from several different people over the years and some people say you can't anchor there some people say that well lots of people say that you can anchor there some people have been charged some people haven't been charged some people say that the marina tries to come out and charge you other people say the police are called and then they don't come i don't know i don't know so we're going to go anchor there it's on navily so we're going to go anchor there keep my hair and um and we'll see what happens Hopefully, no one's going to come out and try and charge us and um, we'll just anchor there nice and peacefully with the winds in our favour, offshore breeze, um, and what, so we can go and check out the old city tomorrow, old town tomorrow. And then the day after, we'll probably sail on anyway to Cavtat to um, check out. And then on to Montenegro. But if not, and all goes badly, then we'll come back, go down there where I just showed you, where there's a bridge in the river and we've got the river, which will take bloody forever, and we'll anchor there. I will keep you posted. I'm eating my hair. I'll keep you posted and let you know what we do. And I will show you around Old Town. Can't wait. It's where they film lots of scenes for Games of Thrones. I don't know who watches Games of Thrones. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to go and look at. It'll be great. So, decks are getting damp already. Crazy. This time of year, it's only five to six, but I suppose half an hour sunset, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry about my old hair. It's in a clip. It's got a bit crazy in it. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you. Our anchors have decided to go in. There's been lots of reports of it, people trying to charge you here and things, but so far so good. I think probably nine o'clock tomorrow morning they're going to be out on your money. The Harbour Master or whatever it is that comes out. Anyway, I'll show you where we're anchored. It's a bit swelly actually. So um, everyone's feeling a bit sick. I'm not, but let's hope this swell dies down overnight and we have a good night's sleep. Ready for our adventures tomorrow when we go and explore old town. And maybe, maybe if we can get a seat on that cable, there's a cable car. Can you see it up there? Goes up the mountain. We might even be able to get up on there. And there's a restaurant at the top. Maybe we could have a nice little drinky poos up the top. Looking over this fantastic view. I'm going to show you the view now. This is our view, guys. There's a little tiny island there. There's actually a couple of anchorages on there, I think. And then over there is Old Town. Not that you can see it. Let me see if I can block the sun. You can sort of see it. Can you see it? There's like massive castle. You can walk all the way around the wall, the castle. And there's like lots of different forts. And there's a big castle just there as well. There's so much. There's so much to go and see and do. It's like medieval. It's seriously old. It's one of the oldest cities in the world. I think that you're going to actually be able to walk around that. That's kept in that great state. Anyway. Guys, this is where we're anchored. It's a beautiful little beach here. It's a sandy bottom. Hope that the wind keeps on from either this direction or this direction so that we don't go in and up against that little boat, which I'm not so sure if it's going to stay there or not. Anyway, this is us for tonight. Looking good, huh, buddy? And Chris having a shower off back. <laughs> Look at these lovely lights, guys. Look, there's a little boaty going in there. Can you see? And then like parts of the castle, not all of it, but parts of it are lit up. It looks so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? What a fabulous anchorage. It's a real change being somewhere like this. Normally we're in dark, totally isolated anchorages where all you see is the moon and stars, if you're lucky. But here, it's just so much to see. Shall I zoom out and see? <laughs> <laughs> Shush, Isn't it pretty? And it goes right up the coast. As far as I can see. If I go back this way, this is my favourite. Over here. We go all the way down to the castle. That's my favourite bit. The dog keeps coming out and crying and barking though over me. I'm not quite sure what. I think you can see people over there. Isn't it lovely? It's really lovely where we've come from 
yeah. out there. Yeah. And we're in this little harbour now. Just left a little thingy there. Just turn up to that post. Should be a fun day of exploring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, under this bridge. We don't even know if we can get out. Yeah. Don't even know if we can get out. Yeah, you can. That these cars walls all the way around us. And now we just walk up hills. Mm, big bridge. Got to smell the flowers, man. Sorry, Got to smell the flowers. I did. I thought Croatia would have been busy in September, but like literally, it's busier than any other month we've been here. Look at it. Now my ankle's killing me. Is that? It's really beautiful, isn't it? Look at the height. Look at the size of the walls. Look at them. They're so fair. Mum, you can go in this castle. Come on, yeah. isn't it? You don't, don't realise how big Down. they are, do you, from out there? No. They look it's tiny so from out there, see? Yeah. Like, honestly, they look like a pin. Pin. Pin, 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 pin. Can't see which one. Oh, yeah, that one, that, that. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Is that like a Harley or something? That is like, is that, oh, that's actually a Suzuki. Oh, it was a Harley. See, I don't even know much about motorbikes and I still know the names. <laughs> How good am I? Look. Mental. But don't you dare. I was going to jump. Hang on. Mum, wait there for me. Hang on. There's like a crossroad there. There's like a crossroad thing there. Somewhere there's a here. Help, uh, what is it there? Loads and loads. Loads and loads and loads of these streets and towers and blocks and squares have been used for Game of Thrones things. But you can still see why it's crazy. Isn't it? It's really cool. Really, really cool. I love it. I love places like this. Like it. Oh, it's so it's so cute. Cute. Look at the guys that live near us, bitch. Open up. Down there with a little shopping bag. Fresh bread. Sick. Yeah. Alicia. Palamotifa. It's cool, I love it. Look, Colin. Look at my face. Like, just washing mine out. Open laundry and stuff. Mum's got. Straight down, so you can go to the bottom. Yes, right. Thank you. We've walked down hundreds of steps and there's still hundred more to go. I'm dying. I Sorry, can't that's see how going stress. down all the steps is going to get you back up to the city walk. It's like a hot summer. I don't know, I'm taking it to a downhill. Look. Big buildings. We're going to go down there. Can anybody read Croatian? I zoomed in on it, so if there's any Croatian, ancient Croatian, they can read it. Oh, dogs actually, Oh my god, yeah. dogs, huh? Good. Look, this is one of the oldest pharmacies in the entire world. In the entire world. How, how crazy is that? And we get to be here and see this. Where was it from? I, farm or I, I can't remember. I'd have to look online. It's something like 7, 7, 10 BC or something. It's one of the oldest pharmacies in the entire world. It's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. I'd have to look up. I can't remember, but I know it's extremely, extremely old. Up to the city wall. Oh my fucking god, I don't want to go up there. Come on, buddy. Oh, I'm going to start backwards. Straight on to Dad. Brilliant. Got legs going in. Look. Up we go. Up we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, go on. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just put them back. Yeah, can't you okay. Can't you keep okay. I think yeah. the dog's a bit scared. Yeah, he is, yeah. That fault of Levrionic, which I think it's called, was built in the 11th century in three months straight. On a 39 metre high cliff. Yeah, that's right. Because there's all these invasions going on and they needed protection, they needed protection out there on the island and they got all their thousands of troops and slaves and god knows what else and in three months they erected that fort. Three months? Absolutely. 
That's, that's pretty cool, three months that. Amazing. I don't amazing. think lads in England would be able to knock that up in three months, <laughs> would they? No, but this whole thing is amazing. This is all inside this, this city wall. This is crazy. It is pretty, this pretty is spectacular. Be, yeah, this has got to be the, the best, craziest old city I think I've ever visited. If you're going to visit it, it's an old city for the architecture and the history and everything. This is an absolute must. Go. And if you're a Game of Thrones fans. Yeah, and that, and that. We heard the bells ringing this morning at 6 o'clock, then 7 o'clock. Did you hear yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, every, every hour. Brilliant, really brilliant. They try. This is the main street from above, and it looks awesome. Okay. They really have look, looked into conserving space here, aren't they? Using every bit of space they can. I don't like it. Not like looking over there. Look at that look. That island, that's a bit, bit closer up. 39 metres island. What a view out to sea. Mm. Wow, turquoise so water. So beautiful. We did sail past, we sailed right past there. We could look at it with the should come in there. Shouldn't I tell us some big rocks? I wonder what they've yeah, done about I that. <laughs> how far how far would that be? Yeah, we've just kind of got off of that <laughs> That would have been really fun. How am I gonna see it here? I'm gonna fire at you with my arrows. <laughs> Walk away. So tiny in here. Hi guys! This is all really it's like, Hi. It's like tiny. Even the, even the dog is squeezed in here. Look, girl. Hello, girl! <laughs> We're like little matchsticks in a matchstick box. Matchsticks. Dungeons for naughty little boys there. <laughs> well, that's like that. Of course, you want to go down there because that's where naughty little boys go. <laughs> I found the kite tour a bit. If you didn't have a boat, that is. Go on then, have a go. Let me know if you've got your legs in the way down there. Don't jump the phone. Let's wait for the sailboat. It's ruins, really sir. Close it back, everybody, run. Go. This is the original city. I love history. I really, really love history. When I finish my like thesis season stuff, I'll start studying history and like the Romans and the Croatians and the history of the Romans, especially the Romans, because they this is probably some of their work as well. Because like Empress, Emperor Caesar and the other ones, I can't remember Nero and stuff. They all took over all the all most of Europe, to be honest. So this is probably some of their work as well, <laughs> or maybe all of it. Right, tell me if you had a hundred lives, you would not jump off there. Yeah. I think I'd send myself. No, I'd be gone. Before you can even say no. <laughs> We're gonna get round here in a minute, guys, and we'll be able to see Pickle. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Be able to see the boat. <laughs> Our humble abode. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's a little cove in that island there where you probably might be able to anchor and tie up. Oh, yeah, I can see it. There's uh, two anchors on that island. Maybe that's one of them. Yeah, it might be one of them. Look at that. Church there behind you. Oh, wow, yeah. Can't see our boat. Boat's gone. Are you worried about a boat, Bo? Well, if someone's towed it, they're going to get No smart. one's towed it. It's right just round the corner. And there's Pickle. I'm just going to try and zoom in. But it's, she's still there. <laughs> Very close to the swimming area. Yeah. What are we doing? Talking to these nice people. From West Yorkshire, we are. West Yorkshire, oh, West Yorkshire, all the way. Huddersfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. You'd have to go on canals though with that. If you yeah. <laughs> well, it, well it's only talk canals. No, a bit no. wide for canals. You never get it through lock. Well, you'll have to exchange it, you see, for a canal book. Uh, a barge. A barge. Yeah. A barge. Neil's good on canals. Neil's good on canals. He likes to smash a barge up. 
Yeah, anyway, so checking process is not easy. In the Valerics, it was a nightmare. In Mon is it Mahan? Mahan, in Mahan, yeah. In Norka, we checked out there, out of Europe, for that day, and we just spent all day trying oh, yeah. to find this tiny little passport office, which was in the middle of nowhere. And when you get there, they haven't got a clue what you're talking about because they're not used to dealing with that many voters. And, and yeah, it takes hours. The process yeah, is well, really yeah. drawn out. Yeah, it sounds like it. Not easy break. going through airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. Tunisia is good though, because they treat you like you have got rabies or something. They wouldn't let you off your boat you and to send there. doctor there. You, you have to have a test. Like, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And yeah. the doctor comes wow. to check you out. They come to search your boat. Perfect. And, your and then they give you a clearance to leave your boat and a yeah. pass in case the police Which stop you. Which is fine you. with me. I just sat there, drank my G and T. They come and did all their work. Had an easy day. The restaurant come and asked us if we wanted food and delivered it to the door. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is the what is the boating uh, equivalent of delivery? Or eat out? Yeah, you don't get it. Sometimes you find locals that come just deliver eat. fish or fresh fish to your boat. But you can't get, you know, like Uber Eats or nothing like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they don't they don't cater for hot water. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. But it's not yet. Yeah. Maybe a break for you. Yeah. <laughs> but some other boaters will say when they, if they're going into a town right, if they've got big attenders, they'll say, Do you want out when we go past? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. They'll they say you won't get any groceries or water. Or they drop off odd things like ice cream. Like they go, Oh, I've got too many ice creams, do you want ice cream? I'm like, Oh, okay. I've got kids, they always want ice cream. So they do do nice things. Do you do do you fish for your own fish then? Yeah. We, when yeah. we can, yeah, spear fishing and yeah. spear fishing most, most. I, I actually caught a fish with a spinner. Really? Yeah. What's a spinner? Um, it's like a little fish that you like cast out and then reel it back in. It's like a little. Like oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's yeah. worth yeah. the bottle, Mum. I know. Fabulous. Look at the views are magnificent. Cable car we couldn't go on because you can't take dogs. Bear's found a cannon to sit on. Let's hope we don't fire otherwise you'll be going flying. It's a long way down. It's absolutely spectacular. Look! Look at the view! Look at there. Oh. <laughs> Getting close to that thing, Chris. Now. Oh. 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 Hello. Oh. How nice is this? That it's very nice. It's very hot though. I can't see how there we go. Can see a bit wind. I think you go round. Keep going. You do go round. You go round the. Do you like my curly belly hair? I do like your curly belly hair. It's so cute. This is a bit loose. Looks. This is a bit, a bit unloose, this one, isn't it? And my hair's just normal. You just sort my hair out? Oh, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> cool, huh? Yeah. We've walked all the way around the castle. This is the end. It's cool. We'll go back down now? Yeah. What do you want to do now? Get food. food. Look at you two gorgeous pair. Oh, it's so dumb. What the hell's going on? I think I've missed something. Really cool. What the fuck? Let me watch our fall down for real now. No one will believe that. Oh, this is how we get out, look. Look at these big leaves. Wow. Oh, my God. Hey, don't pull that. It might fall on you. Mum, hang on it. Imagine pulling that out by I think they'll give you a bit of concussion if it hit your head. <laughs> no, hang on. <laughs> What's that for? What are they for? Their arms? I don't know. It's like um, it's just so, so it's like a cat there on its side. It's like a shackle. Isn't it? How do they even dig in those anchors? Well, so big. I think they just hook onto anything. It's crazy. Oh, that's old. <laughs> Mom, can I well, that, one's, that, that one there is on modern ships now. They're probably going back in centuries, like near yeah. 90s, 80s, and then for been 1800s. Yeah, I believe it. So it says on it. That one. It's lovely. Isn't it? Harry. This would have been the original way in harbour where all the big ships were coming. Yeah. 
pretty, pretty, pretty. I love it chimes every hour. Pop them back, guys. Dong. Dong. Do you think so? Yes. So beautiful. Really is. Thank Look at stained glass. Yeah. Beautiful. I love stained glass. Yeah, really cool. It's a high point. I want to go up. I want to go up. We're at the highest point of the wall. I'm higher than you. What a view. You can see the whole city from here. Every single bit of it. He walked all the way around it. The architecture is. Artists work from up there, look. Cool. We're going to lift anchor of uh, the plotter. The plotter came on. Look how much wind there is. There's so much wind! Come back! There's so much wind! Don't write back! The wind is not meant to be in this direction today at all. It's meant to be coming off the land all day and all night. And we come stopped. back to big winds coming in the wrong direction and we blow back onto that thing. We blow back onto that floating, we literally touch it and something's rubbing all the way down the side. So, yes. Oh god, I'm in so much pain. I'm crying. I'm sorry, John. Um, Look at that. Another yeah. abandoned hotel. Well, that's a thing, dude. How sad is that? And people break the glass. I don't know why people go and break glass. What's wrong with them? They're nothing better to do in their lives than break glass. Anyway, isn't that, isn't that sad? I'm around there, I just missed it, I couldn't get my camera in time. There was this beautiful villa, like massive, big arch white windows and balconies. It was like phenomenally beautiful on the cliff side. And that was empty and ruined as well, graffiti yeah, and, and stuff. Yeah, metal building there, which I think was So the sad, time. huh, guys? So that sad. I don't know if it's COVID caused it or what, I don't know. Yeah. That's a funny little bunker there, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a World War II bunker. Yeah. That's been there for so long. Huh? How cool is that? Is that metal? No, but someone's sunbathing over there. Yeah. And last steps to go up to get out. <laughs> yeah. And a cave behind. That'd be great. Be that looks very cool to go and explore in there, doesn't it? Yeah. Huh. Looks like lots of fun, huh? Yeah. What a fantastic coastline. <laughs> You've got issues, but he's definitely sand. I did it all the time. I have a comfort. It's got the sand patches, man. You're brilliant at it. But like you can see, the ocean looks stark because the sun's gone behind that oh, cliff over there. Nice. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. And behind us, there's a the moon now. Oh, <laughs> Sorry about that. Hello, Mickey. That's exciting. Stand in the frame, right? He's got the bare bottom. He's always naked. Look at the anchor. I've got a It's freezing. I'm so glad he's got it because the wind makes it really cold. The dog's got fun up his bum. <laughs> oh, those words you're not going to hear, are you? Because I'm stood down wind to you. So there's the moon. There's the sunset. And there's Daddy checking her anchor. And we've just made it, but we can't see in because the sea's so dark. The sun's gone. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't done that. Hopefully we're on a sand patch. Hopefully. That wasn't me. That was better. I don't know what I mean. What's going on, Mum? Oh, no. Them idiots over there who sat there all night on their boat, watching themselves get closer to us, totally oblivious, and literally nearly dragged onto us. And we've had to wake them up to turn their dragon onto us and move the boat. They literally sat there all night watching themselves get closer and closer and closer and been oblivious that they're, they're dragging. So if we hadn't been there, they could be anchored and be oblivious. You're drinking, you're drinking. I don't understand. 
Oh my god, there's so many bad anchors out there. Like, I get it, anybody can drag, but they were sat on the back of the boat. We was watching them drag, and they were sat there and were waiting for them to do something, and they went to bed. Yeah, I was going outside. I don't understand why you'd rent a boat of such size, not know how to anchor, and do this. If we hadn't have been here, they'd have dragged all the way over there onto shore, and that had been it. <laughs> so the problem is, right, that from what I've just heard on board then, I don't think they know what they're doing. The woman was like, oh, what do I do then? Do I, do I, oh, do they're I, setting off like they're going. Do I lift it up? I don't think she knew how to lift the anchor. But the problem is, they just go forward and just drop their anchor again, the way they've done it, and just come back again. They're just going to be in front of us again, in the same position. So when you get these big, strong guns, they're just going to come drag on us again, aren't they? I just want them to just not anchor in front of us because they obviously don't know what they're doing. She didn't even know how to lift yeah, the anchor up. Yeah, that's fine. So the people that were dragging, they just went out there, anchored their boat the wrong way around. They weren't like into the wind or anything. And then it was swinging about sort of randomly. They didn't seem to reverse on it or dig it in or anything. And I thought, oh, they're going to keep trying. And they've just left it. It's drifting back this way. And they've just turned the lights off and gone to bed. Again. Again. Like, what are we meant to do? We've now got to sit here all night watching their boat drag onto us. Because they've gone to bed. They've got to be drunk or something. Like, how could they be sitting on the back of the boat all night watching their boat get closer to us and not realise they're dragging? How is that even possible? And then when they do drag, and they're literally a couple of feet from us, and we tell them, they get up and move it, and then they don't set an anchor or anything, and they just drop the anchor and gone to bed. They haven't set it, they haven't checked it's in the right place, or it's not moving, and now they're just dragging back on us again. Oh, and there's no lights on. What are, what are we meant to do? Sit up all night, watching their boat for them? It's crazy. What the predicaments that other people put you in? It's narcissism. They haven't took it. Taken I think the time. They've, got, they've got to be drunk or something. There's there's no logical explanation for someone's behaviour like that, is there? No. How could they ridiculous. not know they're dragging for starters? And now to just go drop an anchor. I don't even. Didn't even look like they put off chain. Just dropped it and then went to bed. They can't be bothered. It's crazy. They've got to be drunk. No, they're just flipping idiots. It's crazy. It's like a 48-foot... Barley. Barley, yeah, with a Fontampaggio. Big old expensive boat. They won't own it. It will be chartered. It is chartered. I've seen it on the boom. Charter boat. That's how close they got. I could read the writing on the boom, flipping idiots. I just can't believe it. It's shocking, people, what people just do. Just. I think they're coming back quite quickly, though. Let's hope it comes back quicker. Well, yeah, Otherwise, I'll be sitting here for hours... How can you go no, to bed? How can you, you go to bed? How doing? can you go to bed knowing you well, oh, not knowing? I don't think they are coming back. Have, has it stopped? Closer. I don't think they get any closer. But what do we do now then? If it's not getting any closer, what do we just sit here and wait to see if it keeps not moving or for the next gust to see if it keeps coming back? What do we do? Set an alarm for every hour. Set up every all two night hours. watching. Well, it's so unfair. That is so ridiculously selfish of these people to do this. They can't even be bothered to dig their own anchor in to make sure they don't drag onto us. No, it's <sighs> crazy. It's crazy. If you oh hire a boat but not enough experience to dig your anchor in, then you're just really, really selfish person. This is crazy.